Yeah. Let's go. That's a better one, dude. I think this thing literally has a freaking octopus in its mouth right now. Oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Check that thing out right there. Look at the teeth on that thing. He just put he ate the whole entire thing. What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish guy Jack here back with another video. If you're new here or you're a regular here, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. And if you are new and you like what you see, hit that red subscribe button, baby. In today's video, we're heading out into the open ocean to go after some deep sea sea creatures. I'm talking colorful fish and I'm talking big fish, ladies and gents. And who really knows? Maybe we'll catch a ginormous shark. Now in today's video, I'm gonna basically give you guys a video of what I do when I'm not filming. This is kind of gonna be a day in the life of my channel other than you guys don't see me going to school. I'm a full-time college student full-time youtuber for both channels it's a lot of work and i do my best to give you guys the best possible content that i absolutely can so today's gonna be a fun one you guys are gonna see a little bit of everything but before we get going we had a really important package that came in the mail today check it out y'all check out what came in today baby our brand new canister filter for this tank right here has arrived let's see what's inside i cannot wait to see this tank crystal clear Go ahead, rip this puppy open. Yeah, buddy, Cascade Canister Filters, you guys. I have no affiliation with them at all, but I find that for the price, it does a pretty good job. Got the canister filters, so we're gonna run the hang on the back and the canister filter in here. This water's gonna be crystal clear, and pretty soon, these guys are gonna go inside. Y'all don't mind my messy bed, but we got a brand new canister filter here, baby. Let's go, come on, woo! I just finished up filming for the main channel, and this thing was sitting at the front door. I'm gonna get this thing hooked up on the 55 gallon tank here, and this puppy's gonna stay crystal clear. All right, the best part of it all, the official unboxing, pull that cord, and here we go. Dun, 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 dun. There we are, baby! I'm gonna get this thing out of the box, get it all set up, then I'm gonna show you guys. And she's all put together, ladies and gents. Take a look at how clear the aquarium is. This has been literally about five hours of it clearing, and this thing is crystal dang clear the fish are obviously much happier and honestly i enjoy looking at the tank way more now so we got the new filter which means those fish in there are going to start working the way into here because the downstairs one's getting going now you guys without further ado let's start heading offshore Big bait equals big fish, baby. Let's do it. Down to the bottom she goes, where the big boys live. Yeah! Let's go! That's a better one, dude. Let's go, Jack. That's a better one, baby! Oh, oh he's digging. He's digging. Big mutton, dude. It's gonna be a big mutton, Will. He is digging, bro. It's gonna be a big mine, boys and girls. You don't want me to help out with this? Oh uh, yeah, this one we might need some help with. All right, let me just get off the bottom a little bit. <sighs> no way. Unless he's floating. He's floating. Wait. He's floating. He's floating. He's floating. Come on. Is that her? That's a mutton. It's a mutton. Looks small though, right? Oh, that's so keeper. Let's go. That's such a keeper. <laughs> Let's go. Let's freaking go. Check out how dang beautiful that fish right there is. Slowly but surely, literally becoming my favorite fish to catch of all time is the mutton snapper. Look at that beauty right there. Oh my God, what's coming out of his mouth? A tentacle, a tentacle, a tentacle. That's gotta be a lobster. All right, freaking no, octopus, octopus uh, tentacle right there. Oh my God, what is in his mouth? <laughs> Guys, I think this thing literally has a freaking octopus in its mouth right now. No way. I swear to God, look, look at this crab. Look at that crab that thing just spit up from the depths. He just absolutely coughed that thing up. Let's throw that thing back in the water. Obviously That's it's already true. dead. I don't know what that is. It's a piece of jello, but there's definitely more in his mouth that we're gonna find out more once we get back to the fly dock and when we clean this guy up. That was what we were after all morning, baby. Check that thing out right there. Fat as can be. Beauty. As I was putting that fish in the cooler since we are gonna eat it for dinner, look at the tentacle this thing coughed up. Comment down below. Do you think it's a squid tentacle or an octopus tentacle? 
I don't know, but you guys saw he was feeding on those crabs. He's now he's feeding on squid. They have such a wide variety of diet from crabs to shrimp to fish. They'll literally eat just about anything. They're scrap eaters. They're so beautiful. They're hard to fool, but you know what? We got one in the box today. We came out here super early and it was a little bumpy this morning, but we ended up pulling something together. We've been out here for what, like four hours, Will? Yeah. Been out here for like four hours. Finally got a keeper. We caught one other small one, but we got what we came for. Will's got him on. Whether we're going to pull up a rock or whether we're going to pull up a mutton. I think it's a rock. We don't know. Will's thinking it's a rock. This is my best friend, Will, right here. You guys have never seen him in a video. Woo! We came out here, flat calm, summer day, and we're catching fish, baby. What does it feel like? Nothing? It, honestly, like, I have no idea. Been in that it's pole. Just dead weight. Dead weight? Maybe we're going to pull up a treasure box, Will. Ooh, that'd be sick. We might pull up like 700 pounds of... Or something. Yeah, it's something. It's something. No, you got rock. You got rock, son. Nice catch, Will. That, honestly, it takes skill to do that. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to catch skill. a rock, ladies and gents. Tell you what, fish store would sell that thing for about 80 bucks. It's going back home. Come on. Let's go. Will is on, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Will. Be a keeper, Martin. If it's another grunt, guys, Will has to go jump in. What do you got? Oh my God. What do you have? A trigger fish? Oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Do you know how much that fish sells for, Will? Look at that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. That thing is stunning. What do we do? Look at how stunning that fish is that Will literally just pulled up. Check that thing out right there. Look at the teeth on that thing. I'll tell you what, you do not want to get caught with your finger inside there. Will, what happened to a guy that you know? Uh, one bit is the tip of his finger, it's clean off. Clean just... off, that thing just completely chomped it. Look at how beautiful. That fish is literally stunning, guys. That fish is beautiful. Look at the sickles coming off it, or the, like the long, what do they call those things, tassels? Woo, baby, that thing's beautiful. We just got back home, and let me go ahead and just say, guys, how insane was that trigger fish that we caught? That thing was absolutely beautiful, about 15, 16 inches, and if I'm not wrong, those things are literally sold at that size. It has to be at least 500 or more dollars. I mean, that thing was beautiful. We went ahead, took the hook out, and sent him back on his merry way, because something that beautiful is just absolutely amazing. Now, out there, we also caught this beautiful mutton snapper that is absolutely delicious, but take a look at how beautiful this thing is look at that tail right there guys these fish are absolutely stunning and let me tell you what they taste even better on the table they got to be 18 inches to keep which this one went 18 and a half inches but as you guys saw when we pulled him up we were pulling tentacles out of his mouth so i want to see if there's anything left inside here or if he already threw all of it up which it looks like he did that's his stomach right there as he comes up he blows up with air because of how deep we were once he gets to the surface he uh he expands but take a look at how beautiful that super spiny tail right there a distinct black dot absolutely gorgeous 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 fish now as you guys could see we were bottom fishing for them so what that means is these fish are bottom dwellers we would catch a live ballyhoo like you guys saw us do take them off the hook send them down to the bottom alive and these guys right here absolutely love eating them. I mean, they ate a bait. This fish ate a bait half the size of him. I mean, these guys are fierce predators and they're sure as heck beautiful. If you guys want to see more fishing content of me going out into the ocean and catching some of these beautiful fish, some I catch guys are 40, 50, 60 pounds. And typically I just don't film it. This video is kind of like, all right, some behind the scenes of what I do really when the camera's off, like setting up the filter, going fishing with my good buddy. Something told me today, let's bring the GoPro and let's go catch some big fish. And that's exactly what we did. So if you wanna see more of it, comment down below. We need some more big fish energy. Now, since I'm already pretty much taking you guys through a day off of filming for me, what I like to do is I like to feed these guys right here. Got a whole mysis cube going in. Watch these guys tear it up. Look at that Emperor Snapper. The Huma Huma trigger that we literally just got. Here comes the grouper. The rest of the guys hide down in the rocks and they'll come out once that starts to sink down a little bit. But look at that Emperor Snapper just absolutely tearing it up. Same with the Huma Huma. Everybody's going to work on it. I'm pretty sure the Emperor just put the whole thing inside. Yep, he just put, the, he ate the whole entire thing. He just ate the whole entire thing. Now the Huma Huma is gonna go ahead and clean up the scraps. Here's our little black spot grouper eating some mysis that's falling. But the Emperor Snapper is always first to just absolutely destroy everything puts the whole thing in his mouth and swims on his merry way then he goes back and cleans up the scraps he's my favorite fish in this tank 
by an absolute mile. Look at that beauty. Grows so fast, gets so big. A true saltwater predator to say the least. It's time to check on these beasts right here, guys. Look at how clear the water is. I mean, when have we been able to get a good look at Spike this clear? There's Bull. Oh my gosh. This tank literally has gone from like an 8 to a 12. Look at that. Crystal clear. Doesn't even look like we have water inside here. There's our blue line way in the back there. This canister filter right here that I just installed is kicking butt. I mean, look at the side view. You can see straight through it with no hazy water whatsoever. These fish have no idea what, literally what's about to happen to them. They're going to go to a big tank once that tank is all cycled. Spike, Bolt, everybody. Fan favorites. Everybody loves this tank so much, and I think everyone's going to love it so much more now that it's so clear. I always give you guys updates on this tank because honestly, they're my favorite fish to film. You guys absolutely love them. And this is like, I feel like, yeah, you guys come watch for me, but you guys also come watch for these beautiful fish right here. Ain't that right, buddy? You don't even compare to the size of the one we caught earlier today. That thing was an absolute giant. Like, sadly, we don't catch any of you. You're actually a local fish. We could have caught some of you today. Now imagine these fish, once they get inside there, it's gonna be absolutely insane. These guys are healthy as can be. I'm really liking it, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, it's got to be less than two weeks until this shark egg hatches. Everything's doing so great over here. I'm actually really happy with how this video is going. Giving you guys kind of like a day off life of Jack. Go out there fishing, come home, check on the fish, feed the fish, and just enjoy life being a fish guy. But everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget, if you love the ocean just as much as I do, if you love seeing me go out there and enjoy flat, calm, beautiful days with tons of fish being caught, we need to protect our oceans with every single item we sell on Fish Guy Shop. We removed trash from the ocean. We have some sick apparel on there right now, and we got more dropping. A lot of the stuff is already sold out because you guys are loving it so much, but we're in the works of restocking it. Thank you all so much for the support, you guys. You all mean the world to me. The only thing you didn't miss today was that I had class, and uh, yeah, I'm a full-time college student, full-time YouTuber. It's a grind out here, but I'm doing my best to pump out the best videos I possibly can. I love you all so much. Catch you all in that next video. Peace out.